to python tutorial in the previous video we have discussed the list functions and how to use those functions with simple programming examples in this tutorial we will develop a python program to accept n numbers from user and store those numbers into a list then find the sum of numbers minimum number maximum number and the average of numbers in the list to start with the program if you see the first line it says that the user has to enter the numbers and store those numbers into the list so we will declare n as the number of elements present in the list so to get the number of elements from the user we need to use input function input of enter the number of elements now the once this line is executed the user will be asked to enter the number of elements he wants to store into the list now whenever a number or whatever is entered through keyboard using input statement everything will be considered as the string but now we want a number because of that we need to convert that number or whatever we enter from keyboard to a integer number hence we need to put this entire input statement within int function so what it does is the user will enter the number of elements to be stored into the list and that number will be converted into integer next uh, we need to read the number of read the actual elements one by one from user for that we use a loop that is for loop for i in range n so what it means it means range function will generate a list of numbers starting from 0 to 1 less than n for example if user has entered uh, the number of elements to be stored into a list as 5 so n will be 5 in that case now the range function will generate a range of numbers from 0 to 4 that is 1 less than 5 and in every iteration one number will be written and stored into i in the first iteration i will be consisting of 0 in the second iteration i has the number 1 third iteration 3 and fourth iteration 4 similarly uh, it goes next we need to read the actual number so we ask user to enter a number and store that number into a variable let us say that the variable name is ele again whatever the number is entered it will be in the form of string convert that particular string to integer using int function input of enter the number so we are asking the user to enter the number he will enter the number and the entered number will be converted into an integer number and it will be stored into ELE once the number is entered we need to store that number into a list let us say that we will store that number into a list before we store we need to create a list so I will create one list here an empty list you can say L1 is equivalent to list function with uh, no elements so L1 does not have any elements right now now once the first element is entered that num element will be should be stored into l1 so how it will be stored that is l1 dot append of ele now what we have done is we have used append function to add the element into l1 so in the first iteration whatever the number is entered it will be stored into l1 in the second iteration the second element it will be stored into l1 and so on till the number of elements were read all the elements were read now once all the elements were read from uh, the user the next task is to calculate 
the sum of numbers so uh, we will create one uh, variable sum to store the sum of elements sum is equivalent to or you can say that just s s is equivalent to sum of l1 so sum of l1 will calculate the sum of elements present in l1 and it will be stored into s next we need to calculate the minimum so i will use min uh, minimum min is equal to min of l1 it will calculate the minimum of l1 and it will be stored into min variable max is equal to max of uh, l1 uh, just to differentiate between the function name and the variable name i will take this as um, capital m now we need to calculate the average of numbers in the list so avg is equal to um, average is always equal to sum divided by the number of elements so s is the sum of elements of a list divided by total number so to calculate the total number we can use length function length of l1 in this case so we have calculated all the four required results that is sum minimum element maximum element and average of elements or numbers now we will print them print uh, sum of numbers is s print uh, minimum element is that is min print maximum element maximum element is max print uh, average is avg so we just go through the program once again in the first line we have read the number of elements to be stored into the list in the second line we have created a empty list and the name of the list is l1 next we have used for loop to read the number of uh, actual num elements of the list and store those elements into a list so range function will calculate uh, range of numbers starting from 0 to n minus 1 and then we read first element and it will be stored into l1 we read the second element it will be stored into l1 and so on till all the elements were read once all the elements were read and stored into list we calculate the sum of elements that is sum of l1 we calculate the minimum element that is min of l1 we calculate the maximum element that is max of l1 and finally we calculate average which is equivalent to the sum of elements divided by the total number of elements present in l1 finally we print all the results using print statement once you execute it it will ask the number of elements let us say that there are four elements so it will ask you to enter the elements so i will enter the first element as 10 second element as 20 third element as 30 fourth element as 40 so once i enter all the four elements it will calculate the results and it will be displayed to us so the sum of uh, numbers is uh, 100 that is 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 that is 100 minimum element is 10 the minimum among all the four elements is 10 maximum element is 40 that is the maximum among all the four elements is 40 and average is 25 that is total sum is 100 the number of elements are 4 100 divided by 4 is equal to 25 in this tutorial we have written a very simple python program to demonstrate the list functions i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do share with your friends and like the channel for more videos thank you for watching